What is up guys, Nick Jones here with TNJ Games, and we're back with the Coach Kelly Johnson Offensive Coordinator Dynasty here with the FIU Golden Panthers. Today the Golden Panthers are making a visit to the unranked Louisville Cardinals. Uh, we come in ranked uh, 24th, I believe. We're sitting at, I think, 3-0. and I'm not sure. I'm sorry, guys. I've recorded a lot of these today, and I don't really remember, but it's still pretty early in the season, and uh, this is our second video in our second season, but it's uh, obviously not our second game. So right there off the bat, our quarterback, Medlock, is going to throw an interception, and that's going to be the story of the game. Now, if you guys go back and watch our first video, you'll see that... Uh, Kendrick Rhodes, who is a Heisman candidate at the time of uh, this video, uh, he was actually injured last game, and I think he was out for at least a week, maybe not. Um, other than that, you'll see Medlock trying to run the option, not the greatest runner, and he tries to pitch it. I actually think I did a fake pitch there, and uh, I left this in here. You guys will notice if you listen to the gameplay video, they actually reversed this call, and uh, it's going to be uh, not a fumble. Anyway. Uh, guys, I want to wish you guys a very happy uh, Thanksgiving if you're in the U.S. Obviously, I'm uploading this video on Thanksgiving Day. And down in the comments below, tell me what your favorite Thanksgiving meal is. Obviously, you got your turkey and dressing. I guess not really your meal, more like your uh, part of the meal. You got your turkey and dressing. You've got your, uh, you know, peach cobbler or whatever you eat. Honestly, my favorite part of the meal, there you go, the third or fourth interception there, is dessert. And I'm not a big dessert guy. I'm not a big sweets guy. I hate chocolate. Um, and I don't know. Check out the score here. 28 to 7, uh, eight minutes left in the second quarter. Uh, we were just doing horrible. Nice grab by Yakeem Griner there. Anyway, and I'm just not a big dessert guy, but for some reason, my grandmother makes the best banana pudding. And I'm just telling you, there is nothing that tastes like it. I mean, I like banana pudding anywhere, but hers is outstanding. I mean, it's just the best stuff ever. And uh, that's what I'm looking forward to most tomorrow or today if you're watching at Thanksgiving. Uh, guys, let me, let me a, drop me a line down in the comments. Tell me what your favorite part of the Thanksgiving meal is. Maybe it's not the food. Maybe it's just spending time with your family. Or maybe it's, uh, you know, maybe watching some of the basketball games or football games later that day and the Lions are going to be playing tomorrow let's see if they can pull that out anyway look at the score here 31 to 7 Medlock is just having the worst game of his life here now honestly I'm at fault uh, but our defense isn't holding up very well nice pass they're rolling to the right I don't know what happened there Lewis uh, just decided to stop um, anyway offense isn't getting it done obviously uh, coach Kelly Johnson is the offensive coordinator uh, usually we have a very potent offense, but for some reason Louisville was able to shut it down. They had some skilled corners. Uh, they were able to get some some blitzes and things, some blitz packages up on me, some pressure, kind of like Iowa did last week. But uh, they were able to kind of force me into throwing the ball. I don't know what I was doing. I was listening to a radio show while I was doing this, and we finally break our scoreless streak. Now that first touchdown... Um, was actually a defensive touchdown. So this is our first offensive touchdown here. We're going to go for two. And uh, as you'll see, back of the end zone, that's two-point conversion's good. So now we come back. It's 31-15. I'm thinking maybe we can get back into this game before uh, halftime. Nice uh, pick up there by Coleman, who is the leading uh, receiver in the nation right now. So we're going to bring out our uh, running back. Uh, on the motion there, and uh, Griner with another great catch. Once again, Yakeem Griner, if you haven't watched my first video, he's my sure-handed tight end, sophomore, I do believe. And uh, Medlock, look at this. To end the half, he throws it to this Hodge guy. That guy has to be almost 300 pounds. Uh, number 95 off of the defensive line. How did he make that grab in coverage? I have no clue. Anyway, so we get the ball back right before half, and I'm going to try to put some points on the board. I'm like, hey, I've already thrown, like, what, four or five interceptions now. Might as well just keep throwing the ball. And there we go. <laughs> that was just a horrible pass. Anyway, so we come out of halftime. We want to get something going. I decide to go more with the run. Kendrick Rhodes ends up having a pretty good game, um, but it wasn't my normal rushing attack. So we get it to Lewis there. Uh, he gets kind of, he gets licked pretty hard. Now we're going to do a quarterback draw, or sorry, running back draw. That's one of my favorite plays coming out of a nice pass or kind of to uh, set the pace. So now we're down in the uh, red zone again. And there you go. Jasper, I thought he got into the end zone at first, but he didn't. So we're going to try to stick it in here with uh, Kendrick Rhodes out of the Wildcat. 
didn't work or stopped. Uh, we end up getting the field goal, so it's 41 to 18 with five minutes left in the third quarter. And you're right now, I'm thinking, Nick, there's no way we're getting back into this game. No way. We've got a high potent offense, but even if we do, and look at that, my quarterback's hurt. Um, Jake Medlock would not return. I think he's going to be out three to four weeks with a uh, some kind of back injury, I think. Anyway, well, Hilliard comes in. First play that he's back in, and he throws an interception once again to Hogan. What are you doing, Hilliard? EJ Hilliard, my backup quarterback, he's uh, got some wheels, as you'll see later, but he's just not a good passer. And as I say that, he pump fakes. What a beautiful pass. Coleman gets loose. And touchdown. Golden Panthers. Now we're going to go for the two-point conversion here. Glenn Coleman, 63-yard touchdown reception. That's one of the reasons that he's leading the nation in uh, receiving yards. And we get stopped right there. They stand us up at the goal line, so it's 24-41. I'm just trying to do everything I can. Nice spin move, getting back into the game here. Obviously, hoping my hurry-up offense will work. Uh, we do run the spread. We run FIU's version of the spread, and I'm hoping to take this uh, to another uh, team after this guys I did get some head coaching offers after last year and we went 12 and 1 pretty good year I got the uh, Washington State job I think and I turned it down because I wanted to go either SEC or big time I want to get I want to try to get to a big time school if that means um, as an offensive coordinator then I will but I'd like to be the head coach sooner or later anyway Hilliard's gonna go up top again I thought Jasper had this and this would have been a great touchdown for us because you know we're early in the fourth quarter we're back in the game right now only down by 10 this is pretty feasible with almost 10 minutes left to go um, we're gonna hit our tight end there number 33 and I'm thinking all right I'm trusting Hilliard we're looking pretty good and he's gonna scramble here and look at this I thought I was gonna pick up the first down he takes a hard hit but he gets right back up now on the next play after that um, we get called for a holding, but we didn't pick up the first down, so Louisville declines to give us a fourth in inches, I guess thinking we're going to kick the uh, field goal or something, and we run it in. And that was my backup tight end, end at fullback. Um, nice hook up with Coleman. Now five minutes to go, and I kind of know that I need to score here because you never know what the defense is, our defense is going to do, and look at that. Interception, I think that's a, a, a linebacker again, so that's twice that we've been intercepted by somebody other than a secondary member, which is just horrible. So we get the ball back with about four minutes left. Hilliard's going to try to do something on his feet. He picks up a first down and a lot more. Thought he was going to get stripped there, but he didn't. So now 38-44, we have to score a touchdown to win this game. About three minutes to go. And look at that. Third and 30, he throws it out of bounds. So here, fourth and 30, final play right here. Let's see what we can do. And he throws it out of bounds again. Same guy is open, and he throws it out of bounds. So we get the ball back with 130 left. It's all I can do. They scored again, so essentially we're out of the game. I thought we were in the game there for a little bit. That was a dangerous pass, but we hook up with our tight end, our second string tight end once again. A hurry up's working for us. He's going to throw. I thought I had Coleman open, kind of lofted it too much. Oh, wait, he scored. Even tricked myself there. So, Coleman, we're back in the game. He gives him kind of the, the uh, shh, you know, he can't touch me or whatever. We're down by two points, 15 seconds left. Going to throw it up to Coleman again. Can the magic happen? No. We got one play left, pretty much over now, and Hilliard's going to be sacked. As you can see, no timeouts. We wasted all of our timeouts on defense, and that's going to end the game. Guys, I am hoping to pick up NBA 2013 or 2K13 or whatever they call it. I don't know. Anyway, this Black Friday, I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash thatnickjones. Email me, all that stuff. Make sure to leave a like on this video, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace. Figure out what's going on in here. I guess I'm not accustomed to the atmosphere. I don't.